Haynes is a Republican strategist, founding partner at Purple Strategies. He's in Washington tonight. Bruce, is it slipping away from Jeb? It's, it's something's happening. I don't know if he's cooked, but he's certainly about medium rare right now, and he needs to find a way to, to turn down the heat. His fantasy football team might be 7-0, and but I think uh, his debate record right now is 0-3. What's wrong? What happened? Well, you know, two things count in politics. You've e you'd either, you, you, you better have a good candidate or you better have a good campaign. And, and right now, Jeb is not exciting voters out on the trail. He's not connecting with people. But he also doesn't have a campaign that has a message that's really connecting with people. You take a look at a campaign like Donald Trump's, for instance. Uh, you can, it's very easy to understand where Donald Trump would like to lead the country. You may agree, you disagree, but you understand. I can explain Donald Trump's campaign to you in about 15 seconds. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I could explain Jeb Bush's campaign to you in 15 minutes. Well, we know that uh, he has a prominent family. It's helped him raise money in the beginning. But, but wouldn't people have seen from the beginning some of these cracks in the armor, uh, whether or not he was really a candidate that was ready for prime time? Well, I think, John, if you look back, people, a lot of people have been talking about those cracks. And I think there's, you're right, there's a lot of affinity for the Bush family uh, in the Republican Party. They've, uh, their family's given a lot of great contributions to the country and the government, and there was a lot of hope in a lot of places that, that Jeb Bush was going to continue that tradition. But money is not a message. Uh, he's, he's failed to, again, to just really connect with voters. And, and last night, I think we saw something that was a little more disturbing. The reason that Rubio's takedown of saying that uh, what Jeb Bush was saying about him was just something that, that uh, someone told him to say because they were running against each other is effective because it's true. Uh, it's not the Jeb Bush that was the governor of Florida. It's not the Jeb Bush that claimed he'd be the happy warrior in this Yeah, in this it doesn't campaign. sound like the real Jeb and, Bush. And people just aren't connecting. Who is the real Jeb Bush? That's what a lot of people... Well, the real Jeb Bush was a very successful conservative governor of Florida. Um, he likes to talk about policy a lot. I think it was, was interesting that we had a debate last night about economic policy and the, the two takeaways you got from Jeb Bush are he doesn't like the way Marco Rubio votes and his fantasy football team's great. That's a real missed opportunity for him to connect with people on things like taxes, on things like fiscal policy, monetary policy, which are really his strong suit. And he's just not bringing those things forward in his campaign. He's just missing the steps that good candidates hit. Well, it's, uh, st it's still a long time before, before the nomination, but uh, clearly it's been a, a, a rough go of it early. Bruce, it's great to see you. Thank you very much.